Let's learn how to use Quizlet. Quizlet is an online flashcard making program that allows you to create and study flashcards as well as share them with others. If you haven't done so, you may need to sign up for an account by clicking the button here in the upper right hand corner, or if you already have an account, you can click login. If you do need to sign up, I recommend you use Continue with Google and use your Centennial ISD 12 Google account. That way it's easy to remember and it matches all of your other single, single sign-in accounts. Here I am at the beginning of my Quizlet account. Let's learn how to create our first set. At the very top, there's a button that says Create, and we're going to create a study set. I've already started a study set, so let me show you what that looks like. At the very top, you're going to want to add a title, typically related to what you're studying for. Here I'm studying for the Unit 1 exam, so I put the Unit 1 exam review for Chem 2. I also included a description to let me and myself, me and others know what's on this set, including the types of reactions and their driving forces, synthesis and decomposition, as well as the ideal gas law. I want to make sure that my set is visible to everybody, because I'm going to be sharing this set with others so they can study as well. Down here at the bottom is where we add different questions. Here I've already started one. On the left side is where I add terms, and on the right side is where I add definitions. A really cool thing about Quizlet is when you start to add a term, it starts to have predictive text and look for other Quizlet sets that might be similar to what you need. For example, I'm going to add an ideal gas law equation in my term. My definitions right away start to give me a predictive text on what I might need. I want to make sure to choose one that matches what we've been learning in our class. Not only that, I can also include an image that might help me learn as well. Our brains are very visual, so having images is helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these that's appropriate. If none of the images work, you can also, also choose one to upload from your computer and create your own image. Now, where do we come up with different ideas for questions? I recommend looking at your unit portfolio. This unit one portfolio, what we get at the beginning of the unit, has all the learning objectives that we need to be able to do and be ready for by the time we have the unit test. And there's lots of Quizlet flashcards that we can make from these objectives. For example, let's take a look at this first one. It says, I can classify a given reaction as one of the five types. I could talk about what a chemical reaction is, I can classify the five types, and I can even go further in depth on each of the five types. This is a really useful section here as well because it gives me important terms and definitions from that section, and I can take directly those terms and definitions. But those aren't the only things I can do. On the right, maybe even some more important examples are some of the models, diagrams, and example practice problems that we've done throughout the unit. In fact, typically in exam, exams cover more application of definitions than just being able to define a term. Being able to define a term is some of the lowest forms or the lowest level types of questions. Here in my third question, instead of just adding a term and definition, I took the time to think of an application of my terms and definitions. For example, I wanted to apply ideal gas laws and their direct relationship. So I'm gonna bold some of those terms that might be important. And then my definitions are almost like a multiple choice answer. Down here at the bottom is where I add cards. Let's add another card about synthesis reactions. We already did ask about the five types of reactions up here, but we need to learn a little bit more about synthesis reactions specifically. Again, I'm going to need to make sure that I choose a definition or write my own definition that makes a little bit more sense. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, and I might even change some of these words to be like, again, I can add an image here and choose some examples that might be very useful in my study. Some tips when you make your flashcards is make your own flashcards. Don't just steal from others. That helps you learn the material even before you practice your flashcards. It's good to add pictures and mix things up with words. Don't forget to use things like mnemonic devices. Every good boy deserves fudge. It's always good also to add one question for a fact card instead of trying to combine multiple things into one. Sometimes even if I do combine multiple things into one, like the five types of reactions, I might further define that out into individual cards to make sure I understand what each of them are. That's me breaking down complex concepts into multiple simple questions. 
When I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and click Done. Now, I'm going to need to add a lot more cards here, but just to show you, when I'm done, I'm going to click this Done button, either the top or the bottom. That's going to let me start to practice my flashcards. I can go through each of the different sides and click, and it will give me the definitions. But I really do recommend you use some of the different study me methods over here on the left-hand side. It gives you these terms and flashcards in a lot of variety of ways. In fact, test is a great one to use to simulate a testing scenario. But you can also do some of the fun ones like Match, Gravity, and Live. Finally, we're going to need to share our Quizlet with a class, so let's come down here and click the Share button. If I ever need to edit it, I can come in here and click the Edit button. If you click the Share button, it's going to give you a copy link. Let's go ahead and take that copy link and to Schoology. In our discussion area, I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody that I have a Quizlet set. I'm going to go ahead and paste the link inside this discussion so other people can use it. Once I post it, everybody else can now use my flashcards to better prepare themselves for the test, as, and I can go ahead and see what others have put and use their work to help me be better prepared. Good luck preparing for your unit test. I hope Quizlet Flashcards is something you choose to do at some point.